Hello again. Today I will be reviewing the 2020 Chevrolet Silverado LT Crew Cab two-wheel drive. It has a 5.3 liter V8 engine with 355 horsepower and 393 pound-feet of torque. Today I'll be reviewing this Chevy Silverado. This one's a two-wheel drive. It is a 5.3 liter V8 with 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque. Now on the outside, um, I like the way this truck looks. It looks real, real sharp. This is my first time driving a uh, Chevy Silverado. Uh, and it drives, it drives, drives um, pretty good. Sound is pretty good as far as quietness. And uh, on the outside here, we've got 17-inch tires, and it is uh, disc brakes on all four wheels on this vehicle. And uh, this vehicle is a crew cab, very roomy. And uh, the bed here is, I believe this is 5 feet 8 inches, is what this should be. Now, and of course this has uh, the bed liner on the inside, which is nice. Now this truck does have, I don't know what this is called, but uh, it's got these uh, to be able to step in. It's got these on the corners open, so that's convenient. So let's just try that. And of course, that goes down real smooth and soft, so that's great. So let's uh, <laughs> let's see if I can try this. Oh yeah, yeah, the steppers that works really well. Really helps uh, to get up in the truck, so that's great. That is great. This truck is dirty. <laughs> this is not mine. I do like on the mirror here, it's got uh, uh, a little smaller mirror to help you see if there's someone uh, in your blind spot. So that's a really good thing to have. All right, so let's check out uh, the inside. All right, on the door, um, it is soft touch material here, as well as here for your elbows. The rest of it is hard plastic. And you've got a nice size um, little little small area here for doodads and whatnot so those are nice about three pockets there and over here I don't know what color this is but uh, that's a nice uh, colored trim that they put on there all right regarding the the seat I wish this uh, had a power I wish it was a power seat this model does not have that um, it only controls uh, the back of the seat but it would be nice if there was a controller to lift the seat up a little higher um, so that would be nice. All right, getting in. All right, on this side here, you can control what mode you're driving in. And I'll turn it on and show you that. And of course you have your light switches and whatnot. Um, you can turn on the light uh, for your cargo with that button, which is nice. And the parking brake. All right, as far as uh, the steering wheel here, it's a basic uh, Chevy steering wheel with, uh, you can control uh, how fast you're going and so forth and so on in the volume of uh, the radio and change the station as well as uh, Bluetooth. Uh, this steering wheel has, um, it is a uh, telescoping steering wheel, but it, no, I'm sorry, it's a tilting st uh, steering wheel, but it does not have telescoping. Um, so it would be nice if it had that feature. All right, on the dash here, it's uh, all hard touch uh, all the way around, except for the small trim area here, going around the, the radio and whatnot, uh, but everything else is hard plastic here. 
All right, so we're going to turn the car on, but uh, first I'll show you the key here. Um, just a small little Chevy key here and a key fob. Let's see if I can... Oh, okay, there we go. The sun is kind of bright over here. All right, so let's, uh, let's start the car up here. Or the truck, rather. And... You've got um, a lot of things to monitor, of course. Um, you can monitor uh, how much oil that you have, uh, the temperature, uh, the gas, and the, the, the battery voltage as well. Um, and so uh, that's all nice. Now, coming back over here, this knob here, um, you can... Let's see, I'm going to focus on this screen, but you, you'll be twisting this knob here. And then you can put this in towing mode. If you can see that, let's see if I can zoom in on that little light. Yeah, so you can put it in towing mode, or you can put it in sport mode, uh, snow and ice, and then uh, back to normal, if I can get there. There we are. All right, coming over here to the radio. Um, this is a uh, it's simple, it's uh, intuitive radio, nothing fancy at all. Uh, it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is nice. And uh, the sound, uh, it sounds uh, just, uh, just, a, just okay. Let's see if we can... Yeah, so it's, um, so it sounds, it's okay. Um, sounds fine. Also about uh, the radio here, this is an 8 inch screen uh, on the radio, so it's 8 inches, and it is touch screen, so it's not much, <laughs> on this basic radio, there's not much to tap except um, the stations, and if you want it to go to AM for some reason. 888-3200. So, uh, let's see, browse. Yeah, so it's not really much going on here, <laughs> but but it is an eight-inch screen and it is touch screen. It's and it's basic, nothing special. All right, and the controls, uh, just basic things, um, nothing fancy here. Um, now this vehicle does have uh, auto start and stop feature. I will say about that, um, it does work better than the Jeep Cherokee that. Uh, that I test drove, uh, when it goes, um, when you stop uh, at a light or a stop sign before you take off again, um, you know, the way it cuts off and cuts back on, uh, it's more smooth than what the Jeep um, um, Cherokee that I, that I drove, so I do like that. Now, um, these buttons here, it does have um, a button where you can let down all four windows at the same time, so uh, let's try that. Now, it doesn't let them up. <laughs> you have to manually, I mean, you have to um, let each one up one by one. Now, this vehicle does have um, automatic down for all windows, but only uh, automatic up for the driver's side. All right, sticking with this side, uh, it does have uh, electronic parking brake. Uh, you just put your foot on the pedal and push that button there. Coming up here, it doesn't, it has, uh, it has mirrors. Uh, let's see if it, both of them has it. Yeah, it's got mirrors on both sides, but uh, there's no lights. Uh, they're not vanity mirrors. And it does have OnStar, if you want to subscribe to that. And the map lights on each side. Now, what it looks like it also has, let's see if I get it back up, okay there, looks like it's got some um, um, sound deadening uh, features. Um, I don't have the brochure on this car, so I, I don't know that for sure if it's just there and they can add that, but um, but it looks like it, it does have that uh, on both sides. I didn't see it, those in the back or anywhere, but I saw it all at the front here. So that's nice, if, if, if that's what that is. 
and it does ride uh, pretty smooth as far as the sound. There's not a lot of sound that comes inside the cabin here. Now, speaking of the front, uh, you can have a person sit in the middle if you choose to, or you can let this middle part down, uh, and that can be your, your console. It's got a lot of things in there. So I'm going to uh, pause the camera so I can let that down because I can't do that uh, with both hands. So let's try Oh, that. before I, I pause, uh, there is a latch here that you pull. Let me see if I can do it at the same time. Now this seems to be, I don't know, it's pretty tricky. It took me a... Oh, there it is. Okay, I can do it with one hand. All right. All right, and so uh, you've got uh, a padded armrest, and that's pretty padded for both sides. You can put your keys, uh, phone here, uh, and just whatever doodads. It's got a lot of little storage here, and it's got two cup holders. And the middle part here, it opens, so you squeeze and pull up, and you've got a, a little compartment there to put things, so that's nice to have. And it looks like in the middle of this lid here, looks like you can put something, I don't know what you would put there, a little thing of t tissues or, I'm not sure. Looks like maybe business cards could go there, or, I'm not sure. And, let's see, and to lift it up, you just lift up and put it back where it was. And there is a seat belt for this middle seat too, so that's nice. And I believe this opens, no, no, this this version, that doesn't open. Okay, that doesn't open there. All right. Now, the glove compartments. It does have two. Now, the first one <laughs> is really small. I don't even know what you would put it. I don't even know why they even put that there. Uh, you can't put anything up there. It'll fall right out. Uh, yeah, I don't, even, I don't even see why they did that. They could have just redesigned that and made the regular glove compartment deeper. You can lock this one. Uh, and, and it's an average size uh, glove compartment. I just, this one, I don't see the point. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. All right, so let's check out, oh, um, before I go to the back seat. Also, um, each side of the, the, the seats, they do have this handrail, so that's nice to help you uh, step into uh, the vehicle. So that's, uh, that's real nice. So I'm going to check out the back. Um, before I do that, talking about the headroom, I am 5 feet uh, 10, and I have plenty of headroom. So if you're, you're taller than that, uh, you'll be fine. Let's see if I can turn this around. Uh, let's see if I can turn this around and show you. Yeah, all right. Yeah, see, <laughs> there's a lot of headroom, so whatever height you are, you will fit in this vehicle fine. All right, so let's get into the back here. Now, as far as the uh, the door, uh, same material uh, as, as the front, uh, soft material for your elbow, uh, not too soft, and hard plastic um, everywhere else. All right. And the back is uh, pretty roomy. Um, I did see, I'll show you, I'll sit behind myself and you can see how much room I'll have. Uh, one thing about uh, the back seat, well this, starting with this, you can let, let's see here, you push this button on the side and you can, let's see if you try it with the other hand. Push this and you can let that down so that you can see a little bit better uh, when you're driving. And you can just let that up. Now also, uh, on the back seat. I do like this. Uh, these seats here, they come up and both sides and it gives you a lot of room. And let's try the other side as well. Uh, it does have uh, some items for uh, the jack uh, for the vehicle on this side uh, as well as uh, that side over there. So I'm going to let that side up. And this side pulls up as well. So that is an awesome feature. And you can fit all kinds of things. A standing plant. 
or even a small desk of this put together or whatever it is you would be hauling and uh, and I believe this is part of the jack system uh, here I believe that's 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 what that is so I do like that All right, so I'm gonna let the seats down and I'm gonna sit behind myself so you can see uh, how much room I have all right well okay I have a lot of room my uh, my knees are nowhere near touching the back of that seat and I can almost just stretch out I do like the room uh, a lot so that's that's really great that is really great and in the back here you've got uh, got some map lights uh, so you can see also there are air vents at the bottom uh, which is nice uh, that it has that now there there is no armrest back here it's just designed for uh, three people uh, to sit and the window here uh, does not come down uh, either Yeah, so the uh, Silverado, it, uh, it drives pretty good. Uh, of course, I've mainly been on the highway with it, um, but it is um, it's pretty good over bumps, uh, and it's not a lot of noise that's coming in the, cam uh, the cabin here. Uh, it is a windy day, uh, so let's see. Let's try something here. Yeah, windy, wind, windy day, and uh, so it does, does pretty good. I'm, in, I'm, uh, I'm, in, I'm impressed. Yeah, just tried uh, passing um, in the Silverado, and it uh, it has great power for passing cars. It it, it gets up so that you can uh, <laughs> uh, you know pass them. So uh, so uh, very impressed with that. This 2020 Chevy Silverado Crew Cab LT1500 is a two-wheel drive and has a 5.3 liter V8 variable time direct injection engine with 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque. This model V8 can go from 0 to 60 in about 6.9 seconds. FuelEconomy.gov List the miles per gallon is 17 in the city and 23 on the highway, with 19 in mixed driving. The 5.3 V8 rides well over bumps and Chevy does a good job of keeping the outside noise at a minimum. I did feel that I needed the ability to elevate the seat slightly to see a little better over the hood. The LT model that I test drove did not have a power seat or any way to raise the seat. The back seat though is very roomy and you'll be able to stretch your legs. I did have an issue with using the high beams at night. For me, it didn't seem to brighten the road well enough. The automatic start-stop feature worked well and was a lot smoother than the 2019 Jeep Cherokee that I test drove. The 5.3 liter V8 crew cab has a payload of 2,060 pounds and towing capacity of 9,700 pounds. The stronger 6.2 liter engine can tow up to 13,400 pounds. JD Power and Associates give the Chevy Silverado 85 out of 100 and race it number three in full size trucks. Consumer Reports gives the Silverado 55 out of 100 and says the predicted reliability is one out of five. US News gives the Silverado an overall score of 8.2 out of 10, with the reliability portion of the score to be determined. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reports that this model has six recalls. 
Number one, drive shafts may separate as of October of 2020. Number two, roof rail airbag may not deploy as of July of 2020. Number three, brake calipers bolts may break as of February of 2020. Number four, poor alternator connection may cause crash or fire as of December of 2019. Number five, fuel pump missing pressure regulator as of November of 2019. And number six, fire after seat belt pretensioner deployment as of November of 2019. Crash test from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration gives the front driver five out of five stars, front passenger four out of five stars, front side five out of five stars. Well, that concludes my review of the 2020 Chevy Silverado LT Crew Cab 5.3 liter V8. Know that on vehicle recalls, you take the vehicle to the dealership to be repaired for free. Remember to do your research prior to the purchase of any vehicle. Which auto would you choose on your next purchase? Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. You all take care.